Good evening, and welcome to episode 59 of season 9 of Factory Town Pipe Mania, where I'm starting off looking at these two buildings here, which are things that aren't really used all that much. We have a steam engine and a water pump. Now, these aren't used very much because they're kind of a technology that was added to the game a while ago and then ignored or forgotten about. Uh, the steam engine takes steam and produces rotational power and attaches it to a building directly in front of it. Now it's only used in two buildings. It's used in the water pump and it's used in the mechanical rail. The mechanical rail was kind of replaced when locomotives come along because they could go uphill. The idea of mechanical rail was it allowed minecarts to go uphill when there was a change that minecarts could no longer do that by default. They, they had to follow gravity. So, as I said, it was kind of put in for that reason, and then when locomotives come along, it was left and kind of ignored, and it's a shame because it's something that could be quite useful. Um, th there's no reason why you couldn't have a steam engine and have buildings ri require rotational power as a booster. So, did you give it a steam engine and a steam engine boosts a building? Uh, I, don't, I don't see why that isn't a thing, but it isn't a thing. So, th this is the only reason that it would be useful, useful here. And I don't even know if it is useful or not. Um, it's a bit weird, but we'll, I'm going to put it in and we're going to use it because I can. That's why. The water pump works the same as a well, except it requires either steam or rotational power. And it produces two water every one second. So it's about twice as efficient, or four times more efficient than a well. A well is one every two seconds, and this is two every one second. So yeah, it's, it's um, four times more efficient than a well, but requires some sort of power. Now you can fire steam into it and the steam will get used to produce two water uses one steam um, for one work unit or you can get one rotational power for one work unit and rotational power is two per steam so if you run the steam into a steam engine and then into the water pump you are already doubling it so one steam becomes four water and those four water come up to here and one water gets turned into two steam so one steam comes down to here and one steam goes off somewhere so you get a net gain of seven water uh, seven steam yeah it uses one steam to produce four water and the four water produces eight steam so so every eight steam you're using one and getting seven back so it's kind of worth doing. It is worth, it's a lot of effort to do this sort of thing. It's a, it's, it is a lot of way of doing it. The water pump also does need to be next to water. It doesn't work like a well in, in uh, just a well work anywhere. They get a booster from water. Um, I still think it's faster than a well next to water anyway. I think the well next to water does three. So it gets one every one and two, one every two. Or two every one, I should say. Um, sorry. It gets one every two and then one every one from there so every two seconds it gets three water so um but this every one second gets two water so every two seconds gets uh two and every three seconds gets six so this is twice as efficient as a well next to a lake so so it's good but you do have to set it up in this sort of way so you have to have steam coming down to the turbine um the the uh steam engine the steam engine connected to the um, water pump and then the water pump you need to have a pipe of some description taking the water back up to here so that's fine I have a well here because obviously we need to kickstart this. We need to kickstart it going before it can do this and then get its net gain going. So that's why I'm doing it. And it's something that I do wish was used more often. Something that I, I don't really see anybody do because it is kind of a dead technology and it's a shame. I kind of feel like this was the start of uh, Eric, the developer of this game, maybe putting electricity into it. So you had rotational power, you had a steam engine, and then you could build turbines and get power then maybe some of these buildings could have electric boosters added to it, but that never came along. Which is a shame, because it would have been nice to have, you know, you can connect these to a turbine, turbine produces electricity, and the electricity is sent via wires, which are basically just thin pipes, like this. Um, and it could still be, it could just be another pipe, another, another booster, where you can add electricity to things. Just as another layer of technology. I don't know, I kind of would have liked to have seen that, but we didn't. So let's connect these up. Let's connect this up to here. Oh. Let's pump all its water in and then I'm going to turn it off. 
for one. And then you were going to get your steam. And then in the steam system, um, you were going to run steam down to here. And then the water system is going to run water back up. And then you should start getting a net gain of water in you. Which I think you are. Eight, ten, ten. Yep, yep, you're getting a gain of that. So, so you're not using more steam. You, you are gaining, you have a net gain of power, a net gain of water from the system. So, so it is worth doing. If you want to build these extra things here they do cost obviously extra resources things wells are right way cheaper so yeah um but it's a nice way of doing it it's a nice way of doing it um, and rotational power is stored just like uh any other sort of like steam or something like that it actually is a a thing that is stored so this will build up its rotational power you have to imagine maybe there's a spring inside here that it's just winding up and then when the springs wound up in here the spring starts winding up and then it can release when it doesn't get enough steam so but it should never not do that. Every now and then it's not quite getting enough steam. I think that's because we're splitting the steam three way. Yeah. Kind of splitting the steam around. Uh, and we need to we need to produce more in here anyway. Uh, because these are not enough. So these need one every second. In fact, they probably need more than one. Uh, they might need more than one every second because we are boosting them even further. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, let's just add... Uh, well, we could add a water booster to it and then we could water boost a steam boost which is a boost within a boost but i think we just add a yellow coin booster to it um and we'll do the whole thing we'll make it up to six so now it's producing more and that should be fine that should be enough to run these and then this is just going to start for the side but this should back up quite quickly it's only one every eight we're using and then the rest are going to here so these should all get boosters on them quite happily and start chugging along quite happily doing their own thing they are running out of wood uh that's because this is now not only running these but it's also running this well they're actually out of water which is interesting maybe this is not quite enough to keep up with it so uh, no yeah probably not probably not now because this is only producing uh two every second and you're gonna need six every second so we need to build more of these these more these. unfortunately you can't stagger them so i can't put one in front um and have it gain rotational power from one behind which is a bit of a shame it would be nice if rotational power ran through them but it doesn't so the steam engine can only run a single building which is a shame but that's just the way it goes. That's just the way it is the way it is. but uh, but i wanted to show that off it's not something that's used very often i, I would love to just I would love more options with this. I, I like I like where this technology was going, um, and then it didn't go that way uh, for one reason or another. I don't know whether it was difficult to program or something. I don't, I don't know. But to be connected the well up, um, that's going to give us one every two seconds, which is not enough either. So we're going to need more wells anyway. But well, wells really are the easier way to go. Let's be honest. I, I get that. I understand that completely. I just wanted to try something different. So there we go. We did. We did. Okay, you're still not going to get enough, even with all that. Nope, nope. We may need to build more of these. You can build like arrays of these and things. It's uh, quite, quite ingenious to do, and then obviously run steam down to multiple engines and put multiple uh, water pumps in and all that sort of jazz. If you really want to, let's add more. Let's do that. Let's let's do more. Let's do more. Let's try and make this run on steam power. Uh, oh, you're unhappy because you're no longer next to water. Yep. I'm going to put another engine down, another engine down. And then they're complaining because they're not connected to the water grid, but that's fine. Um, then we're going to connect well, this. Okay. And I'm just going to say, hey, you're all supposed to be an output. So stop doing that. And then we're going to go to Steam AR. And we will do this. And spit it. Boom. Go back to the water pump layer, and and it all it all it did actually catch up. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, I am going to get rid of these wells because I don't think they need any more. I think we'll be okay without them. There we go. And then if we go to the steam layer, yep, everything's backed up, and everything's backed up because they don't have any wood anymore. Can't add a steam booster to these. 
So the Forester cannot run any faster than it currently is. So we probably want to move the Forester. I think that's going to be the best idea here. Let's move the Forester. Let's do that. Let's move the Forester. So move. And I'm going to put the Steam Generator in the center. And the Forester is going to be... Behind this one here. Here, this, and you can probably see what I'm going to do already. Let's put another one down and let's do the same with this one. Let's boost the people in it, and we'll add the yellow coin boosters to it. Oof. Can't have uh, steam boosters in there, that's a bit of a shame, but yeah. Okay, do that there. Only pipes. Both of you feed to the center one as well. There you go. Okay, and then we're going to copy the trees. And we're going to paste more trees in like this. Like so. Uh, now, you will have probably noticed um, that when I was putting that tree down there, it didn't show the... Uh... Oh, no, it does. It does show it underneath there. Sorry. It does. Sometimes, it, for, for me, it doesn't always show the affinity area. Um, it doesn't always show up. Um, it will show like down here and through here, but it won't be like, well, hang on a minute, all these trees go. But you mouse over it and it does show you there that it definitely has affinity. Um, it just doesn't show in the overlay, but it is. So maybe that was just a weird bug I had previously. And that's fine. And that's fine. So, okay. So we'll unpause this. We'll watch this go. Um, and we need to figure out how many you've actually got. What do you need? You need. So you're running at four a second. I'll take the yellow coin boost. Let me drop it down to three percent. Okay. That means you need one log every second. So we need three logs a second. Now, you're doing that fine, but you're not getting enough logs in, and that is because this does not work. Which is kind of to be expected, I think. Let's do that instead. There you go. Awesome. Okay. Um, right, oh, you've got no water. That's true. It's very true. Uh, this is the beauty of having multiple different layers. I can do that, and then on the steam layer, we've got pipes running across there, and on the mana layer, we've got nothing, and the omni pipes we've got, but they're all individual layers, so you don't have to worry about it kind of blocking itself up. Hopefully, this isn't enough to saturate the pipe. I think I don't think it should be. We're now producing what's this? Two every one second. So we're producing six every second, and you need six a second. So there you go. That's running at absolute flat out top rank speed. Some of you are fuller than others. You're, you're actually both full of... Uh, maybe the pipe is kind of full. same speed um, and you've got no rotational power that's because that pipe was facing the wrong direction there we go awesome okay sorted steam going down there to those three that's enough because they don't need that much steam uh, steam running into the, these which is fine you've got plenty of uh, input and um, are we producing enough planks now for this I'm gonna go with no
No, you've got you don't have enough planks. You've got enough planks, but not enough iron. That's because you don't have enough iron ore. Which is very surprising considering You know the iron the one with the most. So why what happened here? Why have you run out of iron ore and the others have not? Because the others are all full. This one isn't running at a different speed to the others, is it? No? Maybe you're just the one that's been getting the wood because it always turns right first. Because I don't have a spitter here. So yeah, it hasn't been evening the wood out left and right. Okay. Okay. So we're still not getting enough wood in. So we still need to boost these some more. <sighs> what other boosters can we add to them? I don't really know. Coin boosts are the obvious ones, but coins are good. Do I want coins are not good? Coins are depleting. Coins are going down. So coins are not good. Okay, so we need to do some other boosters. Well, I suppose the other other, other boosters, the other 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 boosters we have, because we've got a booster and then a booster and then another booster. The other 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 booster um, is going to be the air booster. And I think I explained this wrong last episode. So it's probably a good job we do it. Let's, let's add the air boosters to this, shall we? Bomb, 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 uh, bomb, and bomb. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I think last episode I said that you have to you, you put the crystals in and uh then they take the they take the, they boost and then they put out the depleted crystals. I don't think it works that way anymore. I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I was I was thinking about it. And I was thinking, no, I think I've got that wrong. I think, wrong. I think now you put down a shrine. You put the shrine near the buildings you want to build. Um, and I say now, this has been changed for a long time and I forgot about it. You put down a shrine near the buildings you want to do and you go um, transmit air boost. Fills the boost meter meter of nearby buildings that have air boost upgrade. Boom. And then you run the booster into this, and then this transmits its booster to these from the air booster. The depleted crystal, the air crystal here, um, I think that's a remnant of how the old system worked, where you actually ran the crystals into the building and then took the building out and did it. So if this is the way it does work, that means it's going to be way better for our medical building. Because it's just going to be way better for our medical build. <laughs> okay. Um, and I can't put that down because we need another 20 crystals. We don't have it. And I'm putting this one here so it can run these three. Then we put another one over here that runs these three. So they're separate. So we have two of them. Because uh, uh, it produces one air boost a second. And this uses 0.5 a second. So technically it can run two buildings. So we might have to actually do a bit more than that. We might have to have like one, two, and three. We might have to put one in the center as well. And there, which gets all of them. And then one on the end, which gets those three. So we might have to do that. I think I think we will have to. We'll have to do that. Okay. So let's move this over here. Where our bump air crystals are. And we don't have enough. Okay, uh, I guess silos do not count as storage. I thought they did. I thought they did. They do not. Okay. Because we can't build this. It says we don't have 20 air crystals. We have zero in stock. We have 57 in there. So I guess the silos no longer count as actual R storage. That's good to know. I might dump the silos and get uh, barns in here instead. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so we want three of these now. So one, two, three. And und three, three. There we go. Boom. Okay, back right here. Uh, you want to be transmit air boost. You want to transmit air boost. Boom, 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 boom. And then what I want to do is, we want to fill these up with air boost. And we're going to split it. We're going to take twenty and divide it by three. 
which doesn't actually work. But I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna skimp and save on how many crystals we put in here, rather than putting twenty in each one. We're at oh, oh let's not use that layer. Let's use the on crop layer instead. Um, we're gonna do this, this, this. And then we're gonna put a splitter in there. And then we're gonna unpause it, and this will split left, right, forward, left, right, forward, left, right, forward, and we'll separate between the three. And I don't know where the extra one's gonna go. So you got six, you got six, you got five. Oh, so that that one missed one. So that one's gonna become the middle one. Okay, I don't know how far apart I need to put these. Doesn't matter. Not important because we're gonna move them now. Um, with the game paused because I don't want them to transmit anything just yet I want to figure out placing of stuff and most importantly I want to figure out placing of yeah I see some something's got a booster then see the instantly the instantly transmitted some so you're gonna go out by one you're gonna go out by so many because you need to do that okay uh, we might have to move this barn as well because I need to put the uh The, um, the thing is, the thingy thing is right. So let's let's level down this area like here. We'll make it look all very natural and realize it's the wrong height. Then do it again. Okay. And then move this forward and then fix the stuff on the ground. Now, realistically, these should not feed into the same pipes anyway, because that's just going to cause issues. Uh, they do kind of need to, some of them. Uh, in fact, no, they do. They do need to feed into the same pipe, because I don't have enough slots on the barn to uh, accommodate all of them, because we need three outputs. So we've got two inputs and three outputs. Not ideal. That's absolutely not ideal. Can't think of a way to avoid that. Uh, no, nope, I can't think of a way to avoid that. Maybe, maybe if we went up this. Everything will always go straight on first, and then when the straight on backs up, it will come down this row. So we've got like a overflow. Oh, that's the best way to describe it. Right. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to move that out, and I'm going to copy this there, and then move that back in. All whilst the game is paused, so it never even knows. Never even knows. And then we're going to uh, move up correct height. Copy this, and we're going to paste it there, there, there. Uh, what? There we are. Oh, yeah. It's not the right height. Not the right height. And uh, in fact, we can move this one. And then all we need to do is change this, uh, not that, this to be depleted egg. Because it will be on depleted fire crystals, because that. So there we go. Ba -bom. Okay, and then I think I am going to boost these with the yellow coins, which I know is not great at the moment. Uh, but I'm going to boost them because we don't have as many um, uh, we don't have as many crystals in here as, as as we do normally. So I want to keep the crystals flowing all the way around. Um, and as you can see, because we're boosting it at one a second, realistically, with one a second, it only really needs two in there, one charged inside here, one empty depleted in here, and then we just swap out. So you can kind of get over two crystals. We've been greedy and throwing so many in here because I can. Just, just I can and I do. So, yeah. Um, I'm really surprised you are. You're not mining enough, really. You're not mining enough to keep up with that. Seems wrong. Huh. 
Oh, you always try to throw wood on. Okay, so now these are all getting earth boosters. Yeah, seems to be. Seems to be getting earth boosters. This is just right, just the right amount to keep the earth boosters going. Which means we're now getting five work second worker uh, units a second. And we have yellow coin boosts if we want to use them. I'm going to add it onto it. So let's see how well this does with our throughput system. And um, probably we'll have to boost it even more. Because uh, yeah, some of them are not getting the actual boosters, are they? Some of these are not getting the boosters. I don't I don't know whether because it's faster, it uses it uses this faster. So it's not using 0.5 a second to give two work units, it's actually running faster because the building's faster. I'm not sure how that works. We could add more here, we could add one in front of each building. Um and uh see what that does for us. Um there's many things we could do with it. But that's that's the principle of how the boosters work. Anyway, um, I think I kind of do want to add more to it. What do we need? We need 20 fuels. We need uh, one, two, we need three more. Why do we not have 20 crystals? Did I not put the, the box back? I did put the box. Do we just not have 20 crystals? We have 19. No, we don't have 20. Okay, okay. So we're getting to the point where we very much need to put the mines in over here. That's a definite thing we need to do. Because we need, we're going to need more crystals for things. Especially if we're going to be boosting everything. Speaking of boosting, however, let's turn off our books. To try and save ourselves a bit of money. Because uh, we don't need the research. 7,500 research. I think we're good. I think we're good to basically unlock everything now. Um, yeah. Three, 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 not that we're using level three, we get an airship, and uh, what up, we get an airship dock, scroll up, and we're done. And then there is infinite research, which requires the uh, Omni Temple, and the infinite research does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, you get a flat 25% production speed per level to all, co all workers occupying the building, so that just gives you a flat, everything runs faster. Shrines you can increase, mana pipe speed you can increase, Omni pipe speed you can make faster. Um, the Omni upgrade is kind of a good one because it adds a bit to the every Omni upgrade you could do to a building, so you just stack boosters over and over. So, um, yeah, and crop yield isn't really fantastic, but can increase your crop. Infinite research is a thing, but we're not going to be doing that. We're not going to be doing infinite research because what we're aiming for is to get the Omni temple built, get to the highest happiness rating we can do, and then try and cap our happiness. And we can kind of do that with what we currently have. We just need to do this building here to get more crystals, and then we can get more crystals. We can start boosting other things because we'll have many more on deck, hopefully. Hopefully this will catch up now. Um, yeah, these are, like, these are full of wood. That's good. Uh, you not full of wood in any way shape or form that's concerning i think it's because you can't the one i don't think the one pipe is fast enough to fill this um don't know We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see. I would like to boost you some more. I might just add some more quick yellow coin boosters. Let's be honest. Let's just throw our yellow coin boosters back in these and get these working at double speed. So I just add one coin booster to each one. That puts them up at six speed when they get the air booster, which is double their, their work speed. So they're producing two a minute, two a second, which should be fine. And then we can watch as these probably start struggling to deliver enough wood to them. But yeah, okay. So I think we'll leave this one here. And um, we boosted the buildings I wasn't going to boost. That was the idea. We're going to boost someone else. On here. Um, but we are going to, next episode, work on this over here. I think we have enough saved up. We've got plenty of coins. We've got loads of Omni... Omni... 
stones going on. Um, we don't have many of the... In fact, in order to plant... Um, the stones, we need to store the stones. And we aren't storing the stones anywhere. So we should probably do that. I might disconnect the mines we have. And... Uh, a barn in to store the stones so we have some because we're going to want to build things down here we're going to do things and change things and, and do plus this is going to be a big build and i'm not quite sure how i'm do it i think i'm just going to do one like this strip here for this building and figure this this out and then once it's done i can just duplicate it down with the different stones so it won't be a problem so we're working for i might actually work on this end I might work on air first because air seems to be one that we're going to use a lot of because air boosters are there although our medicine uses fire boosters so yeah um yeah who knows who knows and we can always boost these with boosters uh making the crystals so you can boost making the crystals as well so we have we have options we have options we have we have things but we're getting there i can't remember what the maximum happiness is um I do know that when we get this done there, we should go to 160, maybe 170 houses. But we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out when it happens. Yeah. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed seeing the little steam engine uh, thing above doing its thing. Because uh, it's not used very often. And uh, I like it. I like this. I like the little, little thing here. Um, it, it reminds me of a pump jack. I kind of wish you could mod the game so that you could pump oil and make plastic, I think. I think that would be cool. Um, you kind of can... I, I, might, I might do something with that later on, but... Uh, not in this playthrough, but we might we might do something to muck about with stuff. But, but anyway, we'll leave this one here. We shall come back next time and carry on from there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope to see you again next time. Until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>